So Oklahomans are reacting to Biden's decision weeks before the state's delegates travel to the Democratic National Convention in Chicago. Democratic officials in our state are thanking President Biden for his service and say they are ready to support Kamala Harris. News 9's Matt McKay joins us live from the state capitol with reaction from the state's top Democrats. Matt? Amanda, the Democratic Party has been split in recent weeks between party allies who stood by Biden's side and those who called on him to drop out of the race. But despite everyone's opinions before today, Oklahoma's Democrats will now be faced with an urgent need to unite before the DNC convention in August. President Biden today gave his full endorsement to Kamala Harris. She would be the first woman and woman of color to be president if elected. No announcements have been made about who Harris could select as a running mate, but Kentucky Governor Andy Bashir and Pennsylvania Governor Josh Shapiro have been floated as possible options. Bashir will be in Oklahoma in August for a fundraising event, and Oklahoma Democratic Party Chair Alicia Andrews says that she would be ready to support him on the ticket. What it means for our party is we have a new rallying cry. We have something new, someone, someone younger to get behind, and all of the folks who are, had all the questions since the debate, that's no longer an issue now. Now we have a, an accomplished vice president that we can get behind, and I ho I'm hoping that this energizes us. I expect Vice President Harris to pick somebody who just shares the values of moving this country forward. And I think there's a number of Democrats across the country who fit that bill, some of which are in Congress, some of which are serving as governors, uh, those types of things. And so I think and I think there's a number of them. Neither Andrews nor Nichols say that they were hoping for Biden to drop out of the race, but they say that they respect his decision. The DNC will actually meet virtually in the first week of August to confirm its ticket to meet a ballot deadline for the state of Ohio. But the party's leaders and its delegates from Oklahoma's will still gather in person in Chicago later in the month. Reporting live in Oklahoma City, Matt McCabe, Oklahoma Zone, News 9. The clock is ticking, Matt. Thank you. And back here at home, Democratic House Minority Leader Cindy Munson responding to President Biden's decision, telling News 9, quote, Democrats in Oklahoma are energized and we will unite behind our presidential nominee. Oklahomans are concerned about our public schools, health care, and the extreme policies that hold back our state. As I visit with voters across the state, Oklahomans are enthusiastic about opportunities to restore balance at the Capitol and to protect democracy in our nation, end quote.